Good morning everyone. It is such a beautiful morning today here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Right, Geoff? Hmm. Let's just take a moment to enjoy the scenery behind me, the sound itself. <laughs> Alright, so Roselsa is apparently a brand which was known previously as Rose Technique. And this is it, the dongle here that came into this box, inside this box. Okay. Rose Technique or Roselsa have opted to go for a simple design as you can see here. Pretty much uh, the USB Type-C cable itself here. Okay and the dongle itself and if I were to compare it with the some of the later dongle that we have in the market nowadays compared to this Onyx Alpha side by side here you can see that this Ross Celsa 9039 RS 9039 is definitely smaller than this Alpha Onyx and pretty much uh, you know shorter than this iBuso DC 07 Pro okay and as you can see here, around it, nothing much to see, basically. Metal enclosure, aluminum, with just an indicator here. No volume adjustment or anything like that. No buttons, definitely. And what you're going to find inside is the latest iteration of ESS Saber ES9039Q2M, single deck. Okay? And the power rating is rated at around 300 milliwatt of power maximum at 32 ohm from this 4.4 mm balance and i think the single ended there is impressively very powerful as well so i think this is one of the most powerful single ended which i have seen so far coming from a dongle at 240 milliwatt of power from each channel at 32 ohm so just take a moment to digest that okay for example let's just take this which is Onyx Alpha or even iBuso DC07 Pro, which I reviewed recently. These two offers much higher power at 4.4 mm balance, but when you look at the 3.5 mm single ended, they only offer more less than half actually at around 100 to 160 milliwatt of power. I forgot exactly how much, but you get the idea. Okay, this thing, the difference between these two, 4.4 mm balance and 3.5 mm single ended, is definitely not huge at all. So, meaning that if you were to use something which is uh, natively 3.5 mm single ended, you're not going to be missing much, okay? Because the difference between these two, when it comes to power, is just very low. I have tested this RS9039 attached to my PC running on Windows 11. I was able to connect to it properly without any need for special driver or anything like that. And I use my Hi-Fi Man Sundara here, which is a very difficult to drive magnetic planar headphone and also my Sennheiser HD 600 here, 300 ohm. And what I'm getting back is that something which I would consider as fairly powerful. I needed only the volume of at around 60 out of 100, depending on which song we are talking about. And that is pretty much similar on par to iBuso DC07 Pro here. So if I were to compare with something which is slightly a bit more powerful, this 500 milliwatt power of Onyx Alpha, this Onyx Alpha needed only 54 out of 100. So there's six steps of volume differences when it comes to just outright loudness. But the key thing is that when proper listening volume loudness has been achieved, assuming that you have the similar sensitivity like me, okay? What I'm hearing from this Haifa Man Sundara is something which I would consider as wholesome, okay? It is definitely does not sound like a dongle. It sounded more like a desktop deck amp, the kind of power, the authority of the sound itself, which is definitely, I would say, impressive when it comes to the subject of power. And when we talk about the sound itself, now let's just have a look at what we have here in hand. Let me just remind you again. This is the latest iteration of ES9039, which means that we already have, okay, ES Saber, quite a lot of it, ES9038Q2M, which is exceedingly popular, okay. So you're gonna find a lot of ES9038Q2M in the market nowadays, especially most prominent from something like IDA9038, okay, which was already released over three years ago. And we also have quite a few other dongle like Shangling UA2, Shangling UA2 Plus, and also 
even Hydis S9 Pro and I can continue on saying there will be so many dongle which uses ES90 create Q2M but probably this is one of the first to use ES9039 in the market. I'm just going to make it as simple as possible with what I have mentioned earlier, the names of the dongle, which some of you might be so very familiar with. The reason that I brought them up is because this Rosselsa RS9039 is definitely one of the prime example of ESS Sabre house sound. So what do I mean by ESS Sabre house sound? It means that you can expect this RS9039 to be exceedingly technical, exceedingly resolving, very very good with macro and micro detail and definitely I would just classify it as being a bright sounding dongle. Yes, why do I say it is bright sounding dongle? Usually with any kind of test on dongle, especially for dongle madness, I started off with this Atimotic ER2XR here, which is my neutral reference with a mild boost in the lower frequency I was already hearing the kind of sound which is like I say very analytical very detailed but it also appear AG sounding you know bright with the upper mid range all the way to the treble and true indeed when I switch on to another listening device of mine my favorite which is this Hedis MP145 here magnetic planner it just simply sounded kind of a bit energetic in the upper frequency especially kind of a bit colored and it is uh, the kind of uh, energy which can translate into something which is offensive especially if you are sensitive to pina gain or pina glare and when I switch further to this Hi-Fi Man Sundara which is my favorite magnetic planner definitely I am hearing the kind of sound which I would consider as kind of a bit metallic with the upper frequency not only it is bright but it is also metallic so it lacks that organic sense of sound to the timber itself and when I switch to something which is a bit warmer a lot warmer perhaps like this Sivga Nightingale here my favorite magnetic planner then only I am hearing the kind of balance which I would consider as you know properly balanced between analytical and being musical so it is less technical but it is also more balanced right now not bright and the same can be said when I use it with this Sennheiser HD 600 here. So it depends. What I'm describing to you is basically synergy. Okay, in order to get the best out, out of this uh, Rosselsa RS9039, you must understand what kind of partner that you are attaching it to. Definitely, I would not recommend to attach anything which is natively already neutral and bright sounding or something which is highly energetic. But because at the end of the day, what you're going to get is something which can be kind of a bit aggressive and even outright offensive with the way it presents the upper mid-range all the way to the treble region. If you love exceedingly resolved details, crips, sharp imaging, then without a doubt, this Rosselsa RS9039 is definitely the kind of dongle which can deliver top-notch performance with that technicalities. And the good thing about it is that while we are the subject of technicalities, it is also wide and open sounding. So perhaps let's just bring back the subject of the previous iteration of 903 series, which is 9038. That 9038 tend to be kind of a bit uh, narrow with the sound stage, especially if implemented in stock native setting of ASS Sabre. But this one, thankfully, I am hearing wide open kind of sound stage, which is pretty much similar to the kind of experience when I listen to Cyrus Logic dongle like this DC07 Pro or even this Onyx Alpha or even Ibaso DC04 Pro. So I would say that the most prominent improvement from ES9038 Q2M to ES9039 Q2M, it improved on the openness of the sound itself. When it comes to competition, there are just so many amazing dongles out there right now for the consumer. We are spoiled for choices really with just so many highly resolving exceptionally you know detailed dongles with technicalities and also powerful something like this RS9039 so let's just have a look at how does this RS9039 compare against the rest of the competition in dongle madness so what you're gonna see here is pretty much a collection of some of the top performers not all of them obviously because dongle madness has been covering up to close to 180 dongles 
obviously I can't fit all of them into this single page here but just pay attention to that element of sound the four sound element and you would notice that I have highlighted some of them in darker blue which means that this RS9039 is in fact pretty much similar or identical to Ibaso DC06 Pro, Shangling UA4 or even Fio KA17 when it comes to the sound aspect. So that is definitely super impressive for this RS9039. And of course, there are several changes, differences here and there. And another thing is that all those dongles which I have mentioned to you just now, DC06 Pro, UA4 and KA17, all of them are yes assemble yes they share that similar strong yes assemble sound signature so if you look at the competition here some of the rating system you would notice that the only area which this rs9039 suffer is just probably on the synergy factor that remember i mentioned earlier it works better with something which i consider as being warmer sounding partner but not so great with bright sounding partner and also it lacks some of the element when it comes to volume management obviously because it is just so very simple and feature wise it is also very limited otherwise with the rest of the element of you know everything which is considered for this particular dongle this is still a very impressive dongle nonetheless sound signature or timber signature and this is how it looks like for RS9039 as you can see there it hovers very close towards digital hi-fi or studio kind of sound presentation remember i mentioned earlier being analytical being highly resolving but in the process of doing that i do feel that this rs9039 kind of a lacking when it comes to the organic element analog element to the sound itself which means that if you want to use this for monitoring purposes if you want accuracy technicalities to the sound that you are listening to then this is definitely one of the dongle which i would highly recommend